Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. In my previous video, we discussed what is a logic app and how to create this service. Today we will discuss our first very important example. That is Automate Power BI Dataset Refresh. Usually, we need to refresh our dataset once our ETL job completes. We will use the Azure Data Factory as an example of our ETL pipelines. So let us get started. Create a blank logic app. Once created, we need to start with triggers, which is a starting point for any logic app. In this example, we need our ETL pipeline to trigger this logic app. For that, we need to add an HTTP request. So select the when an HTTP request is received trigger. Once we save this logic app, the URL will be generated. This URL should be used from any service to trigger this logic app. In our case, it will be ADF. Next, add a new step. That should be the next operation, once the trigger is successful. Search for Power BI, scroll down and find the task known as Refresh a Dataset. Now sign into your Power BI account. Once signed in, we will be able to see all the workspaces to which we have access. Select the workspace and the dataset to refresh. Sometimes, the dataset will not be shown, for that just enter a custom value and type your dataset name. Our logic app is ready to use. Now save the logic app and copy the URL generated. Now let's go to the data factory. Here we have a master pipeline, I want to refresh my dataset once my ETL master pipeline is completed. Add a web activity task. Now connect from the master pipeline to the web task for the successful execution of this pipeline. Rename your web activity to a relevant name, I will give Refresh Power BI Dataset. Now go to settings and paste the URL copied from the logic app HTTP trigger. Select the post method and pass flower braces in the body, as we are not passing anything. We will only trigger the service. Now let us publish the changes by clicking on publish button. Once publishing is completed, we can debug and test this master pipeline. And we can see the debug has been completed successfully. Now let's go back to the Logic app and check the status of execution. Click on Overview and then check the Run History. And there we can see the successful execution of the Logic app. Click on the succeeded task to see details. We can also see the raw output in JSON format. There are multiple options available like info and resubmit to rerun the logic app. We can also disable the logic app, clone a copy, export and delete as well. And also view the code used behind this logic app. In this way, we can auto refresh our Power BI dataset. In my next video, we will see more automation of tasks using logic apps. So stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.